So we're going to do a little bit of a spin-off series. This is the sort of time where you'd sort of plant your rape seeds. So we are going to show you the difficulties of planting rape. We've got this just over two and a half acre field. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a test plot for us. Basically, every year we plant rape and it fails. So we want to try something a little bit different. We want to highlight the difficulties of growing rape. So inside the quad bike spinner there is rape seed mixed with a slug pellet. And we're just spinning it on top. It's too wet to get the drill in. We put it in the spinner. We're going to spin it on top. There was a bit of a, a discussion at the uh, table the other day. Everybody is going off rape. It's so difficult to grow. It's so expensive to buy. But I don't want to give up on it. You know, we've got to try something different to keep this good. We've got a perfect year where it's a little bit wet. You can see all the slug pellets. Slug pellets are Here's the right foot, bright right. blue. If you look, then you can see the yep. oil seed. Yeah. And, uh, right, what's your prediction then? What do you think will happen? Uh, I think we're going to sit at breakfast and we're going to have a right laugh at your expense. It's super expensive seed, isn't it? So <laughs> we tried to grow it last year, didn't we? Yeah. And we paid a lot of money for the seed and we paid yeah. a lot of money to have someone do it with a fancy drill, didn't we? Yes. And it all failed, but we didn't have any moisture we after, did we? We weren't alone in that, Matt. No. We knew in by the third week of september we were writing hours off yeah because cabbage stem flea beetle is totally different to flea beetle flea beetle you will get on top of yeah cabbage stem flea beetle is inside the stems yeah so you win the war in october yeah but you haven't won the battle mate because in the spring you just sit and watch your oil seed disappear in front of your heart you know it's just gone so, so what we done for this year is this will be a complete disaster. Yeah. But if it's two and a half acres and if it gives us two and a half tons of seed, then great. Yeah. It's a conventional variety so we can replant it. There's yeah. no issues with that. Uh, we can use the seed next year. The following year we'll be we'll, we'll be in the pound seeds. Yeah. And, and this year's a perfect year, is it? Because it's wet. Well, yeah, if it doesn't grow now, Matt, it's never going to. Right. Um, and it doesn't matter about this stubble, does it? No, no, no. No, that'll be fine. That, that'll be fine. We were going to drill it. Yeah. Thought process was to drill it, but actually it's too wet. And they're talking of wet all week, so this that, that'll that grow. And it's know. warm as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's Beautifully warm, warm so... Um, let's just see where it goes, mate. Yeah. That is, you know, the prediction is, let's just see where it goes. Because this yeah. is destined for... Well, we want to show people why it's so hard to grow, don't we? It's just, it's an easy way for us to show because it's a small field, so we can show but everybody at home why it's We wouldn't normally so drill this like this. No. We would normally drill it. Yeah. But just because it's going, you know, it's raining now, they're talking of rain all week, we're not going to get here with a drill this week, realistically. No. But it, I mean, it, it may dry that we can come and drill it. You know, yeah. it, it could conceivably dry, and it will dry. At some point, it will dry. Yeah. But this, on the ground like that, that will grow. Yeah. You know, it's just so warm, so wet. Uh, this, you know, that'll be chitted by next Wednesday. That'll be chitted. I'll right. guarantee it. Pro probably even before then in this weather. So what are we up against off the bat? Are we up against birds? The first thing I can see, there's some volunteer oats growing there. Right. So I will probably nip in here. The very second this rain stops, I will nip in here and spray this, even with the rape there on the floor, I will, before it chits, I will nip in here and spray it. Right. Um, no, the birds are not a problem. The slugs will be a problem in this weather. Yeah. Coming in off the grass margins, that is the only issue with grass margins. Slugs will be a bit of an issue. Yeah. No, 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 Matt, it'll grow or it won't. Yeah. That's, um, and we've still got a third of a bag to play with, look. We've still got two thirds of a bag to play with. Yeah. So, if we want to come back and drill it again, we've got three weeks if we want to come back and drill it again we can but the key is now for farmers is to try and drill it cheap to get it yeah. it's a brilliant break crop is it that's why we want to grow it we want to grow it because it's a good well, realistically it's the only break crop of any value to us boys on heavy land yeah 
you know, spring linseed. So we don't really want to give up on it, do you? Really? No. Beans are okay. You know, we, we've gone okay with beans. But um, all seed rope is... If any of us could find a break crop that fitted the system, that's what we would do. Yeah. Oats have been okay for us. Um, you know, they're not as good as rape as a break, but they do give a break from wheat. So you get at the take all situation. Yeah. Um, oats will have done okay this year, won't they? You know, they've cost us nothing. Yeah. So, you know, we've got some nice straw in the shed, we've got some nice grain in the shed. To me, that's better than fallow. Yeah. That's top and bottom of it. It'll be fine. And I think we so have another laugh at your expense. So every, every few weeks we're going to come out here, we're going to show you everything we do to it. Not only for you guys to watch, but just so we can try and take something from it ourselves and remember exactly what we've done to it, what we put on it, what fertiliser it's had, what cultivations it had, whatever, you know. And, you know, if we've got a good crop here next year, we might be able to take something good from it. If we've got an absolute rubbish crop here next year, you can't blame it's not wet, so... We'll be able to take some information from it. That's what we're hoping for. Um, but we don't want to give up on it. And But we don't want to plant another 150 acres of it and have it all fail as well. Because no farmer can afford that for too many years. Um, if it dries, Matt, we will roll this. If, yeah. if it dries enough to roll, we'll, we'll just come in and roll it. So we'll roll it as well. Yeah, yeah. If it dries enough in the next few days, we'll come and roll it. Yeah. And what will that do? Just push it in the soil a bit. You just push that with your foot on that heat. And that is, in essence, you just push everything under. Yeah. So it's but gonna... I don't think it's going to. In this next week, I think we've got this is set for the week. Yeah. So what will you spray this with, first off? Probably Roundup. So Roundup to just clear everything before the yeah. seed chips. Yeah. Yeah. Ideally, it needed leaving for a week to, to let spray everything. Roundup and then put the rope on. But it's so warm and so and the oats we can take out with other chemicals. Yeah. We, there are chemicals that we can just specifically take cereals out, grass weeds out. So we don't have to spray it up with Roundup. No. It's an expensive crop to grow spray wise as well, isn't it? Because everything yeah. wants it, everything yeah. wants to take it away. Well, you all your expense with oil seed right is pre Christmas, the, the bulk of your expense is pre Christmas, right? So, by the time you, you, you've realized it's failed, you've ha had a bloody hell of a lot of expense, yeah. Um, are we going to give it everything you'd normally do? Oh yeah. We're yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah. yeah if it, as long as it chits and grows, we will treat it like normal. It's a bit of a bummer for two and a half acres. But yeah, because there's only a tiny amount of chemical, isn't it? Having said that, we've, um, we, we will do it, yeah, we'll, we'll treat it right. Uh, and if that gives us two and a half tonnes of seed, great. Because even if we only use it, if we, if we say, well, we're not going to grow all seed right commercially, we'll use it as a cover crop. We'll, we'll plant it in the autumn, ready for a spring crop of wheat or something like this. Yeah. So it, it will come in. Yeah. And all of us, every farmer will tell you they're going to give up on it. Yeah. But we all nobody wants to, to though, no, do they? No, no. Because it's brilliant, yeah. isn't it? No. Um, what does oil seed rate put back into the soil? The, the root system of oil seed rape is fantastic. You know that the the. the on, for us boys on heavy land, it is always good. Yeah. Always. What, what does it do? Break up the soils? Yeah, 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 yeah. So and it's got a big root. People are it? saying grow cover crops, but you don't get the same effect. Now. I don't know why you don't get the same effect, but we, we don't get the same effect. Now. <laughs> Our biggest problem is for, on, for us spring drilling, we need the cover gone by Christmas, really. Certainly as soon after Christmas as we can. Yeah. Um, because the ground just doesn't dry. We, you know, you hear people say they're on heavy land. You know what airlines are, Matt. Come with us and I'll show you some heavy land. Mm. And I could probably get my head around their land quicker than they get their head around theirs. But yeah. that is, you know, it is some bad, bad dirt. 
but treat it right and we'll get crop off things yeah you know that's why we run on big tires it's why we kitted ourselves for spring drilling because we've got to we, you know we've no choices no if we want a crop in the spring map we've got to kit ourselves with big tires lighter drills um and i and i honestly think that's why the coon drill didn't show i, th I thought it would but it didn't um we appear to get on okay doing what we're doing, running as light as we can. But it'll be fine. We'll do something, mate. So last year we planted all those acres last year, didn't we? And it was the end of when was it? September, beginning. Uh, yeah, then? Be beginning. The, First the, week of all September. the advice is last year. Uh, all of the advice was plant later. You miss the migration of the beetle. You're not going to have a problem. Well, this year the advice is plant in the 7th of August because <laughs> so well, we'll see won't we? we traditionally we would we would always have started planting all seed right about now yeah that's when we would go we went later last year complete disaster uh, absolute but even the boys around me that were drilling a week sooner were still having the issues so yeah well let's talk figures how much did it cost you in your pocket to plant all that seed Redrill everything and your fuel, everything that goes into it. How much do you reckon it costs the farm because it failed? I don't know. You got, you, you'd have a that. rough guess. I'll Over 10,000? Uh, yeah, more than that. More than 10,000 <laughs> <Yeah>. pounds, <laughs> which is a massive number, isn't yeah. it? Especially. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could have had a couple of holidays on that. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want that too often. So we've got to try and find a way of getting it to grow cheap, plant, get our own seed going, get it on there as cheap as possible and get something from it. The art is to, what I've been saying to the girl that sold me all the seed rapers, that they should be helping us boys with the price of seed. Yeah which they poo pooed for the last five years I've been telling them that. It's biting them in the bum now, mate, because mm. they've helped nobody, which I know they've got a business to run, but actually if you've got no oil seed rate, you've got no business to run. No. So, you you know, it's great. We're, we can fetch oil seed rape off the heap at 12p a kilo or whatever it is. I don't know what that bag's cost me. I honestly don't know. But I will know in a fortnight's time. It'd be close to 300 quid? Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah, easily. And how many kilos is that? So, that'd be 25 kilos. You know, I, I, would, I would imagine we are paying like six, seven, eight times the price. Yeah. And that's great if if it's going to grow. Yeah, if you can there's guarantee no it's going to grow. If you've got a crop, it. there's no issues, man. And talk to us about the chemical they banned, why it's so difficult now. That's. Neonics, yeah, I mean... What was the chemical the, called? Neonics. Neonics, yeah. Uh, I mean... The crazy part is, Matt, you put that on the seed, it wasn't a, it wasn't a panicure for every ear. You still had to spray for flea beetle. Hmm. And I don't know what's happened in the meantime, but you ban that and they're saying that it affects the bees, crazy part is there's no science that says that it's affecting the bees what does a farmer do he's trying to save his crops so we're out there with the sprayer where we'd be out there perhaps once with the insecticide all of the boys would go in three four times trying to save a slide so you've actually what you've done is decimated the all seed rape but actually there's no rape now for the bees to pollinate and go on yeah so actually I think they will shot themselves in the foot. And right. the, the mad part is they're importing the rapeseed because they can't get enough from Britain now. Yeah. And they're all using that chemical, which is wrong, isn't it, surely? Yeah, but that's politics, mate. That's just you bizarre, though. It, it's bizarre, but would we still be having this trouble if we could dress the seed? You know, that's, a, that's the thing, and, and it's the thing that's... N I'm not sure that that is the absolute answer. Hmm. I think there's a lot to do with oil seed rape being too close in the rotation. All of us boys, because it is the only decent break crop, have been growing it too close. So have we shot ourselves in the foot of it? So you've been growing it 
So, say you go wheat, right? <clears throat> yeah, I mean we'd be, we'd been growing it probably one year in three. Right. Uh, some people grow it one year. They would grow wheat, rape, wheat, rape rotation. Yeah. They've been getting away with that. That's great if that's what you can get away with. Um, I'm sure by stretching out in the rotation would help. So you leave it a longer, leave yeah, it more years whether, before whether, you grow it. Again. That, you know whether that is where the chemicals come in. Uh, I don't know. I'm not clever enough to know that. Hmm. We didn't used to have failed rape. We we never had. You know, we we, we might have uh, some that wasn't so good, but it's. I, I don't actually remember years ago having failed rape. We no. didn't. We didn't have that. It was. It wasn't an issue. If we we planted rape, we expected it to grow. Yeah. You know that's and it, but it has become more difficult. That is for sure. It's become more difficult. Whether it is partly the rotation, partly losing the chemicals, um, it's certainly more difficult to grow anything these days. That's uh, and certainly more expensive. Hmm. Wow, well, this is going to be a good because in terms of a perfect year weather-wise, we've it's it, well, you know you, if it's going to grow, what, it's going to grow what, this year. Yeah, exactly. Right? What you've got, you've not got the perfect weather. For a year, Matt, you've got the perfect weather for establishment. Yeah. So that we will we'll, we'll see. So we've got we'll a good see. start for it. So let's just yeah. see if it grows, yeah. and then we'll see what damage is caused by beetles, slugs, and whatever else we put slugs on, haven't we? What we'll backstop to this, mate. If this fails, we'll we'll cultivate it up, and it will go into either winter wheat. If, it's, if we're soon enough realising that it's a disaster yeah. or it can be spring wheat and yeah. it doesn't matter which I don't mind which no. it's, um, you know, it's, we're going to have a hell of a lot of spring corn around again next year Yeah. Um, it's, it's a mad rush to get it in but we, it's obviously doable because we've done it this year so yeah. it's not something and we will you know, we, last year our biggest issue last year was all of the oil seed rope that had failed, the rain came so quick that we didn't have time to cultivate it. No. That that was our, that was my biggest thing in the spring. We had a lot of land not cultivated. Yeah. Um, which you know, yeah, people are saying direct drill it. I, I, all of the work we've done here, it, you know, if, if I cut a corner, it bites me in the ass. Yeah. That's the top bottom of it. So well, what, it'll be fine. You, you put the slug pellets in with it, and that gets mixed in at a certain rate to keep yeah keep them back. Yeah, there's a, there's a rate that you can mix. I just read on the bag the rate is uh, the, the there's a stewardship rate, and there's a rate that is legal. Yeah. So we've actually put it on a stewardship rate. So yeah. it's been put on at uh, seven and a half kilos a hectare. Yeah. Uh, the rate's been dr <laughs> thrown on the top at um, five kilos. Yeah. And it'll be fine. Sweet. So I actually think we'll have a crop to look at, mate. In a, I, I think in a fortnight, three weeks, we'll have a crop to look at. Yeah. Whether we've got it there in three months, <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a different ball. Game. All right. Well, the old boys back at the farm, they they think it's a no go, don't they? Yeah. They're they're fed up of it now, aren't they? <laughs> but me and farmer, we're we're pro we, we ain't giving up, are we? Let's. No, no, no. Let's keep no, trying. Got <laughs> you got to keep trying. If you don't try, you're not farming, are you? Look, Pete's going to be as smug as hell. He's going to come out and say, "Yeah, I've cut my oil seed rape." And when somebody says, "Have you finished your rape?" He'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I finished first. <laughs> <laughs> finished our oil seed rape." <laughs> right, cool, nice one. I'll just show you what the seed looks like because I brought it with me. Let me show you. That's the slug pellets. Oh. Just I'll just show you what the this is what the seed looks like. And the seed's called Elga. So let me move out of your way. Right, farmer's going back, we're gonna go back. This will be a good little um well it's gonna it, you guys can follow along and see how it goes. This will be from start to finish. So, and it'll be a little series of oil seed rape. You can follow along with us. Uh, if you're growing it, you can pitch in and tell us your experiences with it. 
what sort of thing you're doing with it if you've had a good experience with it last year and the reasons for it you can let us know why in the comments uh, but we're gonna you can follow us along with this this is a little it's my little project and the farmers we're gonna you know we don't want to give up on it but it's a nice little plot that we can get in walk through see what's doing what and uh, yeah so next thing that will happen farmer will spray off all of the plants that are growing in there there'll be some voluntary barley and some there'll be some other weeds growing and farmer will spray them all off in the next day or two and then we'll come back and see when the plants are chitted and go from there. 